Today's physics is much more about interwoven disciplines between physics and chemistry, physics and material science, physics and biology. And it is with that kind of a mindset how we built the department. Physics is the bridging language from mathematical equations to real-world problems. It also provides a basic knowledge for us to understand the materials and also to, to develop some uh, new technologies. Hong Kong is at the intersection of China and the world, the East and the West. So I think this, this field, uh, it cannot be done with any one country or one, one university. Okay, it has to be done with a collaboration with the entire world. I think Hong Kong is at the right position to do that. That's the reason I joined CTU, you know, because of location. And we thought that you know, it can be a hub of you know, scientific research in this area of the world. We need a physicist to actually bridge the gap between very pure science all the way to uh, application-driven research. What appears to be a large collection of faculties in different areas actually is uh, uh, closely knit together. And these different themes are also connected through theory and advanced experiments. So quantum material is a class of a material in which quantum mechanical effects play an important role. And that can give you all sorts of uh, interesting properties that do not exist in the conventional, simple materials. Here we do research on two types of materials. Uh, the first one, so-called crystalline materials. Uh, the quantum materials are usually this type of materials in which atoms are periodically arranged to form a lattice. This way you can find different properties associated with this periodic lattice. On the other hand, we have materials that are not periodically arranged, which we call uh, amorphous material. So we're gaining uh, new knowledge about single molecule properties, which we might be able to harness to, to design uh, materials that allows us to observe some of the important processes and also uh, quantum mechanical behaviors. We are at the verge of the, they say, the third quantum revolution, right? So uh, quantum technology will be uh, the next generation technology. And there are a lot of uh, government fundings and, uh, uh, and also, uh, also a lot of institutions across uh, the mainland China, the great China, China region, and also the world. I think it's uh, uh, a fundamental curiosity of human being on nature that we are able to manipulate this very, very small uh, individual systems and which obey an exotic uh, physical law than our everyday life and we're able to manipulate it to our wish and we can harness them to produce useful things to our society. The polymer confinement is why we care about the surface and interface of polymer and this is because Many electronic devices, or like say flexible electronic devices, they use polymers. And as the size of the devices becomes smaller and smaller, the properties and the structure of polymer surface dominate the overall performance of the devices. The water droplet in oil is a spherical shape. And if we cannot shape it to uh, any aperture shape, because it cannot maintain. But when we introduce this so-called interfacial assembly, you know, we can do that. And we can structure liquid into any arbitrary shape, and we can even print it. So I'm using neutron scattering to study advanced material. There's no theory which can account for the phenomenon. So the only way to guiding the progress of that research is you know, doing experiment. And the type of experiment I'm doing, the neutron scattering, is that we can really measure some quantity which cannot be measured by any other method. And that function itself is a very important description. 
I'm doing spectroscopy. Basically, I shine uh, materials with uh, light. And so with uh, infrared light, and I will uh, check the reflectivity of the samples. We try to understand the materials from the inside out. Like we want to see how the atoms build up, how the atom interact with them. And we call the atomic level and the electronic level. So Gunnar's matter physics is looking at uh, materials. So typically metals or insulators. And we try to figure out how you, uh, your uh, particular particles we are studying is uh, electrons. In. And typically, you know, for example, in metals, they are conducting uh, electricity. And there is some peculiar things you can observe in quantum matter physics, such as superconductivity. If we know where the atoms are and how they combine them and how they interact with them with um, more advanced characterization techniques, uh, we can improve the, the materials. We can access very interesting physical properties inside, such as their collision interactions between electrons uh, themselves or with other things. I think as a physicist and um, broadly as a scientist, we're always inspired to discover something new. That's what's really interesting. That's what gives me the excitement and I hope others will feel the same. We need a physicist to actually bridge the gap.